I think that, especially at a younger age, it's good to explore and to see what's out there and kind of get experience in all different kinds of fields. There's just so many opportunities and possibilities. It's really a time for you to experiment and to see what you're interested in. My name is Emma Yang. I'm 13 years old and I develop apps for Alzheimer's patients. I started coding when I was six years old, but I kind of focused on just doing little games and just little things that kind of interested me for fun. But when I was 10 years old, I participated in something called the Technovation Challenge, which is a technology entrepreneurship program for girls, where you have to develop an app and then you develop like a business plan for it. That's how I got into using technology and STEM. In the beginning, it was really about, I really wanted to do this, I want to create an app. I wanted to create an app um, for my, for grandma. Timeless is an app for Alzheimer's patients, their caregivers, and their family and friends. So it uses artificial intelligence-based facial recognition technology to help them recognize people around them. Uh, the main thing is to enable friends and family to still be able to connect with Alzheimer's patients. I was inspired to create the app through my grandmother who has Alzheimer's disease and I grew up with her since I was really little. A lot of the features of the app are inspired by things that I saw in her and things that I thought would benefit her. She found a purpose, I would say she found a purpose um, in her work. I want to do this because I think I can change other people's life. Emma contacted me via email in March of 2016. Uh, I think the title was um, junior, seventh, seventh grader looking for assistance with with an app. Emma is the creative and the coding brains behind Timeless. I have functioned more in a guidance role, um, particularly in the geriatric aspects of this. Uh, so older adults lose high frequency hearing first. So if the app is going to speak to the patient saying, you've already called this person three times, are you sure you want to call them again? Uh, that that voice either be a male or a woman with deeper pitched voice. And it's been a really exciting and uh, like educational experience to be able to see an app progress from scratch to where it is now and to see that it actually has an impact on people and has a lot of potential to benefit the people that I want to help. She writes, she plays classical piano, and you know, she's just an all around really great kid. I've been playing piano since I was six years old. Well, it's kind of a good way for me to kind of let go of things outside of music. It just helps me relax. I've met a lot of people who have been really supportive and it's been a really exciting experience for me to be a part of this growing field. I really hope as time goes on that women's place in these fields is going to be expected. It's not going to be a novelty. It'll be the norm. I always said to her, just go for something that you really are passionate about. Uh, because I think at the end of the day, when you found something that you're passionate about, then you will do really well in it. Technology can really facilitate any idea you have and any dream you have. In the end, it's what you think and what you want to do with yourself.